after discussing in detail about the organizational setup of uh, any forensic science laboratory in three parts now we will be discussing in detail about the scope of different divisions of forensic science laboratory learning outcome after studying this module you shall be able to know about the various divisions of forensic science laboratory including the question document division second learn more about the scope of these divisions and finally about the role played by mobile forensic science laboratory let us discuss and try to understand the module with the help of visuals and graphics introduction the forensic science laboratory should work as a single team consisting of different individuals in the form of divisions the evidence recovered from any crime scene may be can be primary or secondary examples can be like a blood present on any glass material where glass is a primary evidence and blood is a secondary evidence both the evidences need to be analyzed in two different divisions priority to analyze the material has to be fixed by the two scientists working in two different divisions there are two sets of divisions in any forensic science laboratory the first set of uh, divisions are centralized divisions the facility of which has been utilized by more than one division of the laboratory and the another set of um, divisions are those which provide facility only to single division for example can be biology division provide facility to the biological evidences only and chemistry division provide facility to the analyze chemical evidences only let us now understand uh, this module with the help of visual and graphics Forensic Science Laboratory Forensic science is one of the most important part of criminal justice system and help in examining physical evidences scientifically. Forensic science applies scientific testing methods and the latest technologies to analyze proofs in forensic science labs. Testimony of fault or innocence is regularly determined by the results of forensic evidence analysis. Edmund Locard was he who set up the world's first forensic science laboratory in France in 1910. He also contributed meaningfully by giving the exchange principle. In response to the rising demands to apply latest technologies to analyze the crime or case exhibits or clues and give expert testimony to the court of law. So for that purpose, the forensic science laboratories need to be well equipped with the latest instruments so that the crime related exhibits may be examined. Different divisions of forensic science laboratories. An ideal forensic science laboratory is generally divided into following divisions. Photography, which is common for all the divisions, Instrumental analysis, which is also common for all the divisions. Computer facilities, that is also found in all the divisions. Biological sciences, which include biology unit, serology unit, DNA unit. Then physical sciences, which includes physics unit and ballistics unit. Chemical sciences, which includes chemistry unit, toxicology unit, narcotics unit, and explosives unit. Then there is medical legal division, documents division, fingerprint division, lie detec detection, including brain fingerprinting and narco analysis test, voice identification, computer forensics or cyber crime, and field units or mobile laboratory. A director who has scientific training and has spent years in forensic science field is the head of the laboratory. In bigger laboratories, the director is assisted by additional director and an administrative officer. The divisions are usually headed by deputy director having several years of research experience. 
the head of the division is assisted by assistant director senior and junior scientific officers senior and junior scientific assistants laboratory assistants and attendants non technical staff carries out clerical work maintenance of store supplies and maintenance duties the laboratory is properly guarded against theft and loss of exhibits there should be adequate storage space for incoming and outgoing case exhibits and should be kept a separate storage room each police district should be given a separate storage rack so that the exhibits do not get misplaced or intermixed the storekeeper handles only sealed packets of the exhibits unsealed packets should not be accepted library it is one of the most important parts of the forensic science laboratory besides having good subscriptions of national and international research journal the library should have a rich collection of scientific that is related both to basic sciences as well as forensic sciences books forensic science literature has been on rise during the past few years so library must be well equipped with the internet facilities and well connected with other libraries of the world to keep up to date knowledge of forensic science in addition to the ab above facilities the reference works in chemistry physics biology biotechnology and other disciplines should also be a part of the li library then there should be forensic museum a well equipped museum should be established which should have medico legal models and different types of firearms including classical and modern cartridge cases bullets exhibits of poisonous snakes scientific plants in form of herbariums chemicals and rare poisons of forensic interests useful charts should be there to highlight various important and diverse aspects of forensic science depending upon their analytical needs the, the case exhibits are examined in one or more divisions of the laboratory the nature of examination that can be undertaken in different division of any forensic science laboratory are instrumental analysis division the well equipped centralized facilities should be available at every laboratory to examine the samples by using instrumental methods of analysis as per the requirement of the case in the present day world a forensic science laboratory should have latest sophisticated instruments like hptlc gcms lcms scm ftir aas that is atomic absorption spectrophotometer and other facilities like naa photography division this is one of the most important centralized divisions of any forensic science laboratory which plays an important role in presenting understanding and the authentication of the results of various divisions of the laboratory to be presented before the court of law this division also provides scientific support to all divisions in the examination of documents different types of crime exhibits including murder weapons holes in clothes hair fibers bones etc can be presented before court with the help of this division audio video and general photography coverage of scene of crime close up photography of fingerprints blood stains and its patterns footprints tire marks burned subjects scene of crime involving murders burglary theft arson or any other heinous cases etc oblique light transmitted light or side light photography are employed to decipher indented writings or marks secret photography involving ir and telephoto lens techniques micro and macro photography numerical signatures fingerprints etc of questioned documents 
photomicrography of blood, semen, hair, fibers and wildlife evidences etc. Photography is also required for the evidences analyzed in more than one division. Scientific aids may also be provided by this division to record secret tape recordings of conversation and telephonic conversations under different conditions and reproduces by using special devices. Coming on to biological science division. All the biological evidences including human, plants and animals are analyzed for their identification and individualization in biology division. Depending upon the nature of analysis and type of samples of biological sciences, this division can be divided into three units, biology unit, serology unit and DNA unit. Biology unit. In this unit, all the biological evidences including that of human, animal and plants are identified and compared. Examples includes the biological fluids like saliva, semen, sweat, urine, fecal matter, menstrual blood and vaginal secretions etc. Histological examinations of tissues of human or animal origin and morphological examination of hair, wool and fibers are done here. Examination of skeleton and its remains, bones, teeth etc. have been examined for the determination of species origin, age, sex, stature from bones and establish their correlation with other parts or bones of the body. Other evidences examined in this unit includes paper pulp, identification of plant portions such as seeds, leaf fragments, flowers, pollen grains, wood, bark, twigs, etc. The identification of minute vegetable forms, for example, phytoplanktons, diatoms, and other microorganisms like molds, algae, fungi, etc. Anthropometric comparisons of human bone with the photograph of the suspected person are done before attempting the technique of superimposition for the purpose of human identification. Wildlife evidences like skin, claw, nails, hair, meat, raw or cooked and other body parts of the protected species of plants and animals mentioned in different schedules of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972 and Appendix of CITES. Let's have a look at the serology unit. After the identification, the biological evidences are forwarded to serological unit for chemical, microscopical, spectroscopic, biochemical and electrophoretic examination in order to detect the origin. Blood grouping and polymorphic enzyme typing is determined from blood, blood stains, washed blood stains, tissue, skin, muscles, nail clippings and bone fragments and semen mixed with other body fluids and their stains. Examination of bar and Y bodies for sex determination from blood stains, body fluids and other samples of hair etc. are also done in serology unit. Examination of wildlife evidences like skin, meat and other body parts of the protected species of animals and plants has been conducted in this unit to confirm the species etc. DNA unit. In the DNA unit, DNA profiling of all types of biological samples including blood, blood stains, bones, semen, bone marrow, tissue and wildlife evidences etc. is carried out to find the absolute identity of the person. 
The laboratory needs to have proper and sufficient storage of facilities for biological samples, their processing and getting the output in an efficient way. The laboratory should be well equipped with all the necessary infrastructures required for the technology which includes highly sensitive DNA sequencer, PCR machine, ultra low temperature devices and ultra pure water purification system. Standardization, validation and upgradation of related technological processes should be an integrated part of the laboratory. Let's have a look at the physical science laboratory. In this science of all physical evidences including glass, paint and firearms are analyzed for their identification and individualization. Depending upon the nature of analysis and type of samples, the physical sciences can be divided into two following units which are physical unit and ballistics unit. Physical unit. In physical unit, Analysis is done by employing different methods for examining evidences like glass, paint, soil, tickets of lottery etc, coins, fibers, metallic fragments or pieces, threads, ropes, cloth pieces, struggle marks and cut marks on cloth, not examination, examination of metallic seals, postal seals and wax seals, deciphering of erased chassis and engine number of vehicles, registration plate of vehicles, examination of tool marks etc. is done. In this unit, the examination of telephone and electric wire pieces recovered from the scene has been carried out to perform contour matching of accidentally broken pieces for source correspondence, examination of broken glasses for the direction of impact etc, examination of counterfeit coins, trace element analysis for the comparison and identification of exhibits etc. Besides the above, X-ray radiographic examination of packets boxes, letter bombs and other secret contrabands as well as currency notes etc is done. Physical section also plays significant role in determination of cause of fire whether due to electric short circuit or otherwise, determination of direction of force exerted on glass door window panes etc in suicide and or in murder cases, comparison of fabrics, buttons, soil, seals, printing blocks, printing materials etc, recognition, identification and comparison of recorded voice and comparison of sealing waxes, stones, statues, electrical wires, machines, motor parts, electric motors, stoves, refrigerators etc and reconstruction of crime scene is also done in this division. Coming on to ballistics unit, in this division examination of firearms for their service ability and to find out whether they come under the preview of arms act is done. Also, determination of probable type or make of firearms from fired bullet or cartridges, wads, pellets etc. is done to determine whether two or more bullets or cartridge cases has been fired from the same or different firearms to establish the linkage of a bullet or cartridge case with a particular firearm and to examine the PMR or injury report, X-ray plate, clothes with a view to determine probable type of firearm, examination of a firearm to detect evidence of firing, checking firearm against the possibility of accidental discharge, 
estimation of range, direction and angle of firing, identification of bullet holes, shooter by detecting firearm discharge residues, general examination for the reconstruction of a scene of firing etc. are also done in this division. Examination of different air guns or country made and or non-standard firearms for their performances and measuring their muzzle velocities to check their lethality. In some of the forensic science laboratories, the materials related with explosion are examined in this division, but some of the laboratories have created an independent explosive division which is responsible for handling evidences related with explosion. Chemical Sciences In this science, all the chemical evidences including illicit liquor, inflammable materials and poisonous products are analyzed for their identification and individualization. Depending upon the nature of analysis and type of sample, the chemical sciences can be divided into four units which are chemistry unit, toxicology unit, narcotics unit and explosives unit. Firstly chemistry unit. Earlier it was one of the big units but nowadays in some of the forensic science laboratories narcotic division has been separated as an independent division because of the number of cases related to an NDPS act are increasing every day. Presently, the chemical division examines the samples related to adulteration of petroleum products such as petrol, diesel, kerosene, etc. Examination of illicit liquors, varnish, paint, inflammable liquids and solids in suspected cases of arson and dowry deaths, examination of alcoholic medicines etc, examination of dyes for example phenophthalene in a trapped case, inks, stains and other organic and inorganic chemicals is done. Toxicology division. In toxicology division, examination of viscera, stomach wash, vomit, urine, fecal matter and blood etc. for poisons of vegetable origin, inorganic salts, acids etc. are done. Also examination of alcohol including ethyl and methyl alcohol and remaining poisons including powdered glass etc. is also done in this division. Coming on to narcotics division, examination of opium and its alkaloids, heroin, ganja, bhang, charas, smack, brown sugar, LSD and other narcotics and psychotropic substances are covered under NDPS Act are conducted in this narcotics division. Explosive division. Examination of explosive substances and its remnants and devices used and recovered from crime scene after explosion and examination of scenes of explosion are done in this division. Examination of live explosives and traces of explosive residues in the post explosion debris to determine the initiator and type of explosive involved are all done in this division. Also identification of explosives and examination of diffused or exploded explosive devices to determine their operation and origin are also done in this division. Medical legal division, examination of wounds and injuries of the victim or suspect to help experts in the ballistics and technology toxicology division in their work by providing them with the relevant information and interpretation of post-mortem reports and examination of bones, teeth and tissues for medical legal opinion are done in this division. Such divisions are under the process of establishment. 
document division in this division comparison of questioned handwriting typewriting printed matter signature with the known standards to establish genuineness of forgery examination of documents for physical and chemical erasures alterations additions obliterations and secret writing decipherment of indented writings determination of relative age of the writings or papers examination of ink paper and charred documents etc are carried out in this division examination or comparison and decipherment of rubber seal impressions handwriting on unusual surfaces at crime scene for example wall tree trains mirror lifts curtains weapons dead body etc are also done in this division examination of adhesives and gums photo and carbon copy writings and signatures ascertaining the sequences of two intersecting strokes and folds on documents reconstruction of charred and torn documents examination of staple pins clip marks punch holes etc on documents are also carried out in this division examination of computer printouts photocopies fax copies counterfeit and genuine currency indian and foreign notes ascertaining the relative or absolute age of documents detection of forgeries in travel documents like passports traveler checks identity cards credit cards visas driving license etc detection of decipherment of secret writings are also done in this division fingerprint division only a few forensic science laboratories have fingerprint division most of the states in india have their own fingerprint bureau which provides services to to the investigating agencies with reference to establishing the identity by examination of questioned thumb impressions chance prints latent prints recovered from crime scene The fingerprints are classified according to single and 10 digit classification system and compared with earlier record which is maintained by the bureau or with the specimen provided by the police for identification of the culprit. Development and lifting of chance prints on exhibits received in the laboratory for examination and by visiting scene of crime in important cases and their comparison with the specimen fingerprint of the suspect or accused to establish their identity is done in this division development of chance prints on documents such as anonymous letter threat letter and letter claiming the responsibility for terrorist act by using modern techniques are also carried out in this division taking of 10 digit fingerprint of a living person comparison and identification are also carried out here coming on to psychology division the lie detector division contribute valuable polygraph aids in number of important investigations conducted by police states and other investigation agencies the lie detector division needs to maintain a computerized polygraph equipment polygraph also called lie detector is based on the principles of psychosomatic interactions of an individual that is psychologically a change in the person's consciously held feelings produces a defense reaction in the form of psychological changes in blood pressure pulse rate respiration and electrodermal response the division has initiated action program for induction of the state of the art technology and an electroencephalograph come event related potential system for brain mapping analysis this is procured for for its application to study the memory related parameters in the scientific investigation of crime 
interrogation of suspected criminals and witness by polygraph and other techniques like brain fingerprinting and narcoanalysis test used to find out the related information whether that is present in the brain or not is done in this division. These techniques are gaining popularity and are likely to become an integral part of the forensic science laboratories. This division also provides facilities of verification of the statements of suspect with the help of a polygraph machine, confirmation of the findings of investigation by investigating officers, scientific interrogation of suspects in white collar crime, to economize and accelerate the process of investigation by screening innocent persons where a large number of suspects are involved, voice identification division. In this division, the examination of voice recorded either from telephonic talk or any other device is conducted for speaker identification with the help of a very advanced version of computerized voice spectrograph namely computerized speech lab. Experiments are required to be conducted for noise reduction or signal enhancement and audio tape authentication which is done in this laboratory. Computer Forensics and Cyber Crime With the increasing number of cases related to computer forensics, it is desirable to establish a division related to it in every forensic science laboratory. Its main objectives are preservation, identification, extraction and documentation of computer evidence in various computer or internet related crimes forwarded to the laboratory. Computer forensics involves the use of sophisticated technologies, tools and procedures. Use of multiple software tools developed by separate and independent developers is done in this laboratory. The accuracy of the result is of prime importance and therefore cross validation through the use of multiple tools and techniques should be a standard process in any forensic science laboratory. Validation through the use of multiple software tools and process procedures by the computer experts can eliminate the potential problem. Field unit or mobile laboratory. The success of the analysis made in any forensic science laboratory fully depends upon the proper collection and preservation of important and relevant clue materials from the scene of crime. In most of the cases, it may be possible to repeat the examination in the laboratory but it is never possible to get relevant physical evidence from the scene of crime once it is disturbed. Keeping this in view, some of the forensic science laboratories have established un field units at, at district ranges of the state depending upon the statistics of crime. Scientific staff posted in these assists the investigating officers in the scientific investigation of crime. In some of the field unit or mobile laboratories, the facilities for conducting some spot tests are also provided. Besides these, few more divisions are ready to become part of the forensic science laboratory like forensic accountancy. The scientists of forensic science laboratory deliver lectures and practical demonstrations to the trainees of various organizations and students of the universities involved in technical forensic science as a subject. Summary. Let us now recapitulate whatever we have studied in this module. The forensic science is one of the most important part of criminal justice system and help in examining physical evidences scientifically. Different divisions of the laboratory should work in a collaborative manner. 
so that the primary and secondary evidences should be analyzed properly on the priority basis. So there should be a collaborative effort. Voice identification division must contribute significantly in handling the cases related to voice identification, particularly in the present day scenario where everybody is using mobile and other type of devices. So there they can contribute significantly. The light detector division along with the brain fingerprinting and narco analysis test must maintain the standards expected by the higher courts.